Once upon a time, there were three little flurfs. When the time came for them to leave home, Mama Flurf said to the three little flurfs, Whatever you do, build your arguments good and strong, so the globeheads won't get you. <laughs> Off they went to build their flat earth arguments. The first little flurf built his argument out of straw and drank his own pee. Ew. The second little flurf built his argument out of sticks, which of course is better than straw. His argument was based on simple denial, which can cover all sorts of uncomfortable scientific data. The third little flurf decided he was high IQ and built his argument out of brick. He decided all he needed to do was to deny his flurfiness and call himself a globe skeptic. Wasn't that smart of him? Yes, it was. One day, the big bad science nerd, Fight the Flat Earth, found the first little flurf and said to him, Little flurf, little flurf, give up your argument or I'll huff and I'll puff science and logic and cave your argument in. Naturally, this frightened the first little flurf. So he said, You're just a shill, a silly shill shill. I won't give up my argument no matter what you do. So the big bad science nerd huffed and he puffed. He debated and debunked and caved the little flurf in. Wasn't that a mean thing to do? The next day, the big bad fight the flat earth found the second little flurf and decided to have some fun. He said, Little flurf, little flurf, give up your argument or I'll huff and I'll puff science and logic and cave your argument in. Well, this upset the little flurf to no end. So he said, You're just a shill, a silly shill shill. I'll never give up my argument no matter what you do. So the big bad science nerd huffed and he puffed. He debated and debunked and caved the little flurf in. He's rather good at this, isn't he? The very next day, the big bad fight the flat earth found the third little flurf and decided enough was enough. So he cornered the little flurf and said, Little flurf, little flurf, give up your argument or I'll huff and I'll puff science and logic and cave your argument in. Well, the third little flurf decided he wasn't going to have any of that nonsense. So he said, What argument? I'm not a flurf. I'm just a globe skeptic. You got nothing on me, you shill. You silly shill shill. So the big bad science nerd huffed and he puffed. He debated and debunked. But no matter what he did, he couldn't get the flurf to admit he was a flurf. So he called his friend, Brainy Beaver. Brainy, mate, we have a situation. Red Pill is spouting bullshit and won't admit he's a flurf. What was that fight? Red Pill's talking some crap again? Can you fire the snowman? Hold on, I'll fire one of these missiles at him. Three. Great, thanks mate. Three, two, one. So the big bad brainy beaver fired his snowman at the little flurf, which was made of the most undeniable material known to man, cold hard logic, which is why they keep it in Canada, they have to keep it frozen. Well, it hit the unsuspecting little flurf and knocked him for a loop. That was a rather rude thing to do. And that, boys and girls, is why Fight the Flat Earth is public enemy number one. And the entire flurf community has to gang up on him. Shame on the shill. The silly shill shill. Well, that's it for today's episode of Flurf or Fairy Tales. The Three Little Flurfs. And a huge thank you and shout out to Fight the Flat Earth and Brainy Beaver, who agreed to do part of this silliness with me. And a big thank you to all the guys like them who helped launch my channel and get it noticed. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Keep laughing.